There are essentially two key takeaways of the Assam election results. The first is the continued growth of the BJP, which is emerging as India's dominant national party. Before the Assam results, the BJP had never been represented in the northeast of India. Now it holds a government in the northeast. Uh, this breakthrough comes about a decade after the BJP managed to form a government in Karnataka in the south, which it later lost. But what it points to is a party which was once confined to the north and the west of the country, now acquiring a national footprint. The second big takeaway is the continued decline of the Congress party. Congress was in power in Assam, of course, before losing this election. And with this loss and another loss in Kerala, Congress now controls only six of India's 29 states, with only about 7% of the country's population and less than 10% of its GDP. Uh, this is a precipitous decline for a party that has ruled India for most of its history since independence and ra raises questions about the Congress party's future. So in a nutshell, you have a state election that really offers us a prism onto larger national events. And what Assam does is speak to the continued rise of the BJP and the continued decline of Congress, at least for now.